realize that. Cause the stand, I get you got the adjustable on that standoff, and it's just, it's just as easy to get it. It's not that much farther away. Okay. With the uh, two television cameras having been installed, Fossum and Garin now press ahead uh, for further outfitting of the exterior of the Kibo module. This will begin. Small, uh, correction, the handrail we're tracking is 1187 for joint five. Yeah, this is just an, uh, an alternate access thought for him if he has trouble. Okay, copy. The work now uh, begins with the removal of the uh, thermal covers on the joint electronics unit uh, for the uh, Japanese robotic arm. This uh, robotic arm, again, is about 33 feet in length when fully unfurled, has three booms connecting six joints. The base is fixed uh, to the uh, Kibo module itself and employs a standard end effector. Yeah, I guess if you're gonna, yeah, you can do three. That's fine. These aren't as bad as we feared, huh? That's going fine, that's for sure. Okay, cover six. Two uh, grounding straps secured. Covers removed. Copy. Um, uh, I understand uh, both grounding straps and underlying is good. Two jets, and uh, I'm looking around it again. I had to do some tugging on the uh, on it. Want to make sure I didn't pull anything amiss. Nope. Yeah, underlying MLI is great. Very good. Okay, Ronnie, you gonna start bag stuffing up there? Yeah, I've got uh joint one on my hand. Okay. Tell you what, I'll let you if you're gonna have the bag, I'll let you uh take this one too. Okay, let me get this one on the Yeah, yeah, one at a time. One at a time. Yeah. And I'll come by a quick preview of uh, coming attractions. Coming attractions, you got the uh ACDM MLI next. You bet. 